Don't you just wish that there was a backpack that had a specific section for all of your morale patches and your ranger eyes? Well, look no further, cause this bag has got you covered. Let's check it out. What is up guys, Mikey Messini here with Mikey Daily Carry. I hope you've been well. If you're new to this channel, welcome. On here, I create content on everyday carry gear and gadgets that help me live a more aware and prepared life. For today, I'm gonna be doing a review and loadout of my CT15 backpack by C Tactical. Before I dive into the nitty gritty specs of this bag and how I loaded this out, I do just wanna send a special shout out to C Tactical for sending me this backpack for review. This specific one here is the CT15 version 2 mashup collection and this is the multicam black with the black molly webbing. They do sell the all multicam black including the molly webbing and multicam black on their site. I believe right now they are sold out. First things first, let's talk about price. This bag is going to set you back $69. The shell fabric of this bag is made out of 500D Cordura and the interior of the bag is made out of 300D high-vis ripstop and that's this nice orange color right here before i get into how i actually loaded and set my whole bag up let's just talk about the specs of the exterior up top it does have a hook and loop section for a three inch to five inch morale patch that you want to put on here in addition to that there's this huge hook and loop panel for any of your re's and any of your morale patches you can lace it up just like how i have it right here and then on the bottom, it does have three rows of molly webbing, which also has molly webbing on the sides where we have two sections and then one up top and over on this side as well. The back features a laptop compartment, which is very padded and it also has a hard plastic slip material, which keeps anything from damaging your laptop or your iPad. The shoulder straps itself are very durable and comfy and it also is lined with molly as well. So if you need to attach any type of sternum straps or flashlights or any other quick easy EDC gear, you can do so with this bag. Why is it called CT15? Because it's 15 liters. That means you can fit anywhere of up to a laptop in here that goes up to a 14 inches like my 14 inch MacBook Pro or you can even put the largest iPad in here as well. If you're wondering about the overall dimensions of this bag from top to bottom you're looking at about 18 inches from left to right you're looking at about 10.2 inches and then if you're wondering about the width of this bag you're looking at about 5.2 inches. I know I had stated that it can fit up to a 14 inch MacBook Pro but it can even go as large as 15 inches. Now let's talk about a couple cool features that this bag offers. So number one it does have a small slit right here for any type of hydration packs which has a section on the inside and I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. But these shoulder straps can easily be taken off with this buckle here both of them on each side so that way if you're in a pinch and you need to just take this bag off without having to slip it off your shoulders you have a way to do so what i really like about this bag is not only does it have the three molly webbing rows in the front it also has it on the side which makes it easy for you to clip on and off your keys or any other pouches that you may want to put on this bag for ultimate carry options okay so let's take a look at how i loaded this out with my patches first dad squad patch right over here right behind that i have my yeet patch in between that i have my apple air tag which is very cool in case i misplace or lose this bag and then i have my run ikc patch right here followed by my century l1 patch and then i have my nike patch along with my daily carry company Below that is Wakapow Dad, and then my Don't Quit Patch, my EDC Morale Patch by Max Position, Swing the Axe Barbarian Brawny, and my Mick Inky Combo by Inky EDC. Right down here, I have my M Patch Peace Morale Bullet Patch on my Micro Max Position Micro Pouch. Let's take a look at the inside here. To the left, I have my Mech Army Flashlight a pen to go along with it, a marker, and this right here is the Exceed Designs Tyrant V3 utility knife. Take a look at this black DLC coated blade and I absolutely love this thing. Now, 
I'll make sure I link them in the description down below because they are a phenomenal company and they're just coming out with some fire stuff. Compared to GORUCK, this CT15 has an organization section right here, which is also lined in orange. Makes it easy for you to spot your chargers, pens, highlighters, everything of that nature. Opening this up, first things first, I have my quick access pocket right up top. I have my Andar Pilot wallet here, and this is in Wolf Gray Olive. And then I also have my AirPods Pro, and that's usually what I keep right up top. We got a nice little message here. It says a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Thank you for being a part of this from day one. Now in this mesh section right here, you know I gotta have my MCB Small Fry by Data Crew. Too many things in there for me to go over. I do have a video about it though, and I will link it after this video. And then this right here is the admin panel, which I have attached to this bag, starting off with this pen by Smooth Precision V2. This right here is the Victorinox Classic SD. And then I also have my nail clippers cause you gotta stay clipped, you know what I'm saying? This right here is the Coast flashlight. That way I can illuminate more things in this bag, USB-C rechargeable. And then I have the handy dandy famous Skeletal. This specific version is the black topograph version. This is super nice and handy. Have that in my bag. No problems there whatsoever. And then inside of this admin panel, seems a little empty because i'm using a lot of the gear right now like my camera along with all the cables that come with it and the chargers but that's typically what i keep on the inside of this and then if you direct your attention here this right here is the hole for the hydration hose which you put in this channel right down here with this elastic super handy dandy i love the high vis ripstop orange on the inside of this bag man on the bottom here if you take a look after I zip this up, this also has some molly webbing. Totally forgot about that. And then on the side, this is where I clipped my little section where I can put my keys and a carabiner just in case I wanna hang any extra stuff on here. But there you have it, folks. That's my loadout. Now that I've showed you guys that loadout, let's talk about some pros. Number one, I love that hook and loop section on the front of the bag. I can put my REs on there, my morale patches. It's just a nice accent and touch to a backpack where you can showcase a little bit of personality. Number two is the molly webbing on the side of the backpack. I absolutely love that there's molly webbing on the bottom and the top part. So that way you can add your own pouches or any other EDC gear that supports molly webbing. I also love how it's $69, yes, super affordable, but you're paying for high quality materials such as 500D Cordura, 300D Ripstop, light orange on the inside. You got molly webbing all over the place. You got YKK zippers, and you got this very sweet hook and loop panel right on the front. Now with some pros, of course, there are some cons. And number one is that it's missing the secret pocket that I rave about so much. I absolutely love the secret pocket that is on the GORUCK bags, the Heritage specifically, and the X-Pack variant, where the secret pocket is right under the actual handle of the backpack itself. Sea Tactical does make a bag with a secret compartment, but that is on the X-Pack variant. I look to have that in maybe the version threes for all of these bags in the future. Number two is although it is a $69 backpack, it is packed with quite a hefty shipping fee of about $25. Now, like I had stated in my sling video with a CT4W, if you pack on a couple things like a sling bag, a backpack, maybe some admin panels or pouches, then the shipping is gonna be a lot more worthwhile. But if you're just looking to purchase one item and paying that $25 fee, it's pretty pretty much a third of what the bag costs. But overall, if you're looking for a nice everyday carry bag, this backpack is perfect for you. Whether you're going on a trip, you're going camping, or you're like me and you use this as your everyday work bag, this is perfect for you. They have so many colored options on their website. The CT15 is such a perfect size. 
Fire down in the comments below. I would love to know what your thoughts are about this bag. What are your pros? What are your cons? Do you see yourself purchasing this CT15? Because I would absolutely love to know. If you're not following me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you can find me at Mikey Daily Carry. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, consider it. And if you do, turn on that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on my content. My name is Mikey Messina. This is Mikey Daily Carry. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Thank you.